Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 5.2, Dividing Polynomials. We have a couple different ways on how to divide polynomials. And the first one we're going to start with is dividing a polynomial by a monomial. And this would be the monomial on the bottom where there's only one term and the polynomial is up top. When this happens, we're going to take this guy and divide it here, here, and here. And how I'm going to write that out, and you don't have to write this step down, but how I want to show you is that I'm going to have 5a squared and then b, and I'm going to divide that by 5ab. And then I have a minus 15ab cubed, and then I'm going to divide that by 5ab. And then finally, I have a plus 10a cubed, b to the fourth. And I'm going to divide that by, guess what, 5ab. Now let's simplify this jargon. We have 5 divided by 5, that's just 1. Then I have a squared divided by a, that's going to be a. b divided by b is 1, so I'm just going to leave that there. Now here I have 15 divided by 5. That's going to give me a 3. I'm going to carry down that sign, so that's going to be a minus 3. a divided by a is 1. b cubed divided by b is a b squared. And then finally, bring down the sign. 10 divided by 5 is 2. a cubed divided by a is a squared. And then b to the fourth divided by b is b cubed. I'm going to write this closer together so you get a better feel for our answer. So our answer is going to be a minus 3b squared plus 2a squared b cubed. Here is our answer that we are looking for. And again, you do not have to write this intermediate step. I just wanted to show you. You could just go ahead and divide out like this just so you know that this guy on the bottom has to go to all three terms up top. Let's try another one, number two. Now we have this times this, but what does that negative one do to these parentheses? It moves it to the bottom, so I'm gonna rewrite it as 18x squared y plus 27x cubed y squared z. And now this guy is going to move below the fraction bar because of the negative 1. So it's 3xy. And now how we do this, just take the 3 and divide it into the 18. So it's going to give you a 6. Then go to your letters. x, x squared divided by x is just x. y divided by y is just 1, so I'm not going to write that down. 27 divided by 3 is 9 x cubed divided by x is x squared. And then we have y squared divided by y. We're left with one y. We have no z's to divide by, so we bring the z over there. And so our final answer here is 6x plus 9 times x squared y z. Moving on, let's break it down a little bit old school here. Remember how to divide 1,680 by 15? Well, for a quick review, you're going to put... 1,680 in the division sign. And now, what do we have to do? 15, how many times does it go into 16? Well, that's once, so it's 15, right? And then we subtract here, bring down the 1, bring down the 8. How many times does 15 go into 18? That's once. Then we take this 1 times the 15 to get 15. We subtract again to get 30. How many times does 15 go into 30? That's twice. So it's 30, and then we subtract to get what? We get 0. So 1,680 divided by 15 is 112. And now why is this important? Because when we divide a polynomial by a polynomial, we can use long division like this. And how do you ask? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put this guy in the box. So it's going to be x squared minus 2x minus 15, and that's going to go in the box. And then I'm going to put x minus 5 outside of the box. Now what I want to do, I want to match this first letter with this guy, with this x squared. Well, what can I take times x to give me an x squared? Well, how about an x? So I take this x times here, which is x squared, 
this x times a 5 to give me a negative 5x. Now, what did we do? We subtracted, right? So we're going to subtract this. And when we subtract, we change the signs. So now we change the signs, and now we can add up. Gone here is going to be 3x. Now bring down what we didn't use, which is our negative 15. Now I'm looking at this 3x. What can I take times this x to give me a 3x? Well, how about a plus 3? So I'm going to take this 3 times the x, which is 3x. 3 times the 5, which is a negative 15. Remember, we want to subtract, so we change both of our signs. And we add up 0, 0. So what is our solution? Our solution would be x plus 3. Now we're going to use synthetic division to find or to simplify these problems. Synthetic division is the third way. And now how we use synthetic division? It's a little bit different. We're going to set this guy, what we're dividing by, equal to 0. So it's going to be x minus 2 equals 0. And we're solving for x. So x equals 2. So now we're going to put that 2 in a little half square over here. Next, we're going to bring down the coefficients of all these variables. When you bring down the coefficients of the variables, make sure they are in um, order of their descending degree. So this is 3, goes to 2, 1, and then to none. So we are good there. So what is this coefficient? It would be 1. Then I'll bring down the negative 4 from the x squared the 6 from the x, and then this negative 4. And then I'm going to draw a line right here. Now what do we do with this? The very first step in synthetic division, once you get it set up, bring down the 1. So I bring down the 1. Then we multiply what's in the box to the 1 to get 2. And now we add up. Negative 4 plus 2 is a negative 2. Then we repeat the steps. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. We add here to get 2, and then we take 2 times 2 again to get 4. Again, we add above the fraction bar and get 0. And so now, what do these numbers mean? These numbers are actually your solution, and how do we put them back into a polynomial? Notice how we started with a 3. So when we have our numbers down here, I'm going to take one less degree from whatever degree we started with. So we started with x cubed here. So I'm going to start with x squared. We only have one x squared. And then we have, we are going to go down in power. So then this negative 2 gets the x. This guy would get the plus 2 with no variable. And then what's the 0 get? Well, the 0 is actually our remainder. So our solution to this problem would be x squared minus 2x plus 1, or plus 2. Again, let's try 5. First thing we have to do, set this guy equal to 0. So it's a plus 2 equals 0. So a equals a negative 2. So this negative 2 goes in the box. Now, be very careful when you bring these coefficients down. I'm going to start with the 4 because it's the biggest degree. And now, notice how I skipped a to the third? Well, I still have to hold that place. So what are placeholders in math? I'm going to put a zero right there because this is a to the third. And then I can bring down a to the second, which is two. I have an a, which is minus four. Bring down the positive 12. Draw my bar. And now you're ready to go again. Once you got it set up, bring down the four. First thing you do, bring down the four. Then take negative two times the four to get negative eight. Add 0 and negative 8. We get negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 8 is a positive 16. Add it up above to get 18. Then take negative 2 times 18 to get a negative 36. Add above, so we get negative 40. And then negative 2 times negative 40 is 80. We add to get 92. So again, let's make our polynomial. So we started with an a to the 4. So we're going to start writing our polynomial with the third. So it's going to be 4a to the third minus 8a squared plus 18a minus 40. And now here's where our remainder comes in. 
it's going to be 92. It's going to be plus 92. And what's it going to go over? What am I dividing by? Whenever you have a remainder, you're going to put it over right here, whatever you're dividing by. So it's going to be A plus 2. So here is our final answer with our remainder. Again, the last spot will give you the remainder. Let's try a couple more. First thing we do, go 2y minus 1 equals 0. We have 2y equals 1. Now we are dividing by 2, so y is going to equal 1 half. So now in the box, we're going to put 1 half in that corner. Since we divided by 2 here, we have to divide this guy by 2. Very important step. So I'm going to divide that guy by 2, this guy by 2, that guy by 2, that guy by 2. So now I'm going to bring down my new numbers. Those new numbers are going to be 2, a negative 3. I'm just dividing a 2 and a negative 1 half. I'm going to draw my line across there and then continue. So bring down the 2. 1 half times 2 is 1. Add above to get negative 2. 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. Add here to get a positive 1. Multiply to get a positive 1 half. Add up to get 0. So now my polynomial looks like what? I started with a y cubed, so I'm going to start with a y squared. It's 2y squared minus 2y as we go down a power each term and then plus 1. Is there a remainder? No, because it is 0, so there is no remainder. Let's try one more. Number 7, again, the very first thing we have to do, set that equal to 0. 4y minus 1 equals 0. 4y equals 1. We divide. We're dividing by 4. Dividing by 4. So let's go ahead and put 1 fourth in the half box. Now what do we have to divide all these guys by? We have to divide them all by 4. So make sure we're dividing everything by 4. Very important step that we divide all these guys by 4. Our new numbers are going to be 2. And then we have a negative 1 half. Now notice how we went from 4 to 2. So I have to hold that place with a 0, another important step. And then a negative 4. What, what did I skip here? I went from y squared to no variable. So I have to hold the y's place. And then just 1. Draw the line across. And we're off to the races. First thing we have to do, bring down the 2. Now we're taking this 2 times 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 2 is 1 half. We add above the bar to get 0. Take 1 fourth times 0 to get 0. Add to get 0. 1 fourth times this 0 to get 0. Negative 4 times, or plus 0 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 fourth is negative 1. We add above to get negative 1. Multiply one more time to get a negative 1 fourth. Add. We come up with 3 fourths. Now what does this look like? Here I have y to the fifth. So I'm going to start one below that. So I have, let's go right here, 2y to the fourth. Now I'm going to skip y to the third because it's zero and y to the second because it's zero. And so this is going to be y. So it's going to be minus 4 y minus 1. Now what is this 3 fourths? It is a remainder, yes? But notice how I'm dividing by 4. So I want to multiply this guy by 4 because I divided it right, right at the beginning. So I'm multiplying this guy by 4. And so that leaves me with a 3. And what do I put this 3 over? Well, I put it over what I divided by in the beginning. So it's going to be plus 3 over 4y minus 1. And this is the solution that we are looking for. And that does it for section 5.2, dividing polynomials. Good day.